good morning here at 1877 Hostel in Las Vegas, and I am absolutely amazed with this place and this experience. Couldn't have asked for a better time. They have set up excursions for me, activities every day, and each day, everything I did was way under $100 U.S. for me and my son. That's two people. Under $100 a day. With canoeing and rafting and beautiful, beautiful residence that they have here at the hostel. So... Um, definitely come here, definitely stay here. See, I'm looking kind of rough because I've been getting to it, honey. I've been getting to it. Nature Pearl, Eco Tourist. Hey, hey, we got to go out and hang with the Garfuna yesterday and have some rice and peas and fish. And I guess I'll walk you around uh, just a little bit. Um, this is the outdoor area. I'm about to do yoga here. I always do yoga. I like yoga. It helps to balance me out and keep me peaceful. And this morning, some things were on my mind, as well as my back needs some stress. So I'm going to make sure to get that done. But when I clicked on the video, I thought, oh, I guess I should share with you guys and make a video about this wonderful place. So, here we go. Look over here. When I got here, they welcomed me with a Rasta. You know I love my Rasta man. Okay, who's that? That's Bob. This is the thing. That is the thing. Being Benito's Mika. But I've been here a few days now. So now, they just ask me, Mika and Jordan. And I'll take that from Maryland because we all know I love Maryland. If you didn't know, I have a real photo shoot with real pictures, you know, with makeup and, and stuff that people do. And I, I copy Maryland. And I'm going to copy more of her photo shoots. I should do that probably soon so y'all don't think I'm so ugly. But, you know, beauty is in the eye of the hope of hope. So I am beautiful, even without my makeup. Anyway, this is a sitting area in the front. You can see that. And over here we have the front desk and check-in area. That is really, really cool. And it took time to lay that out very, very nicely. Um, they give you coffee every morning. See, Cafe Copan. Yes, I'm doing coffee. Diving is available because the owner is a dive instructor. So if you're into diving, guess what? You can do that from right here too. You can even take some little pre-classes. Maybe I'm um, arranged to have him take you out on a dive. My, I'm not a diver. I might be a diver one day, but I, I don't know. The tank, the underwater thing, I'm not ready to not panic that seriously yet. I swim on top of the water. I don't even like snorkeling, y'all. Okay. So, let's go through here. Cute little guitar. Oh my goodness, speaking of this guitar, look at it. Wait, look at it, look at it. Look at the guitar. So the other night, we all um, went out. The people that were staying in the hostel um, were hosted to an evening on last day by beach for partying and gifty. If you haven't been to Honduras, you just go ahead and figure out what gifty is. But yeah, it's the truth. truth. So we went out for that, and um, the guitar just reminded me of the mariachis that were playing in the evening as we had um, after the club the mariachis played in the street while we were having baleadas baleadas in the street 
oh, 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 oh. So much fun. Okay, so here we are in another little sitting area where you can sit and hang, maybe eat some food. And there's some hundreds to have to break up. This book, get one of these when you get here. It's got pages upon pages of stuff to do. Um, but I had that book. The Julio took care of it all for me. So I didn't even really have to break my brain too much. Um, there's my friend. My bestie came to see me. She signed the wall. Everybody signs the wall here because the best is here. Enjoy the little things in life. So, I'm going to find you all the dream of the dream of the hospital. This is the best hospital in the world. United States of America. Go, go, go. i got to sign the wall. So, I guess I'll sign the wall with you guys here. And I'll sign it with my favorite saying. It's on my shirt. Life is good. Life is good. Life is good, 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 life is good. Life is good. Oh, oh, okay, okay, here we go. So let's write on the wall. La la la, nigga, it's here. Yeah, I like to put myself somewhere where ain't nobody gonna think to be because they tall. Let me go to a tall person place. So maybe I won't get a race so soon. There we go, see. See, uh, that's what happens when you're six feet. You can go to tall places. All right. Uh, nice. Easy. Put a heart on it. I was going to have some love in it. Good. And that's just that. And you know, I'm going to hashtag the you. And that was by Mika. <laughs> okay. Only I know what the Medusa part means, but I found it. His life is good. And it needs some heart. Gotta have heart. Heart! There you go. Life is good. Be you. I'm Mika. Otherwise known as Medusa because I channel my Medusa, but we'll talk about that much later. Join the Medusa Mindset Makeover and we can know all about that. So, here we go. This is the kitchen known as El Cocina. Best part about the kitchen is there is love here. So, free love. Take some. Take a piece. Get some love. Get some love. Okay. Get some love. Alright. Um, Hammock. The hammock is here, everybody. I didn't get to show it to you yet because they didn't put it up yet. But it's brand new and it's going down at 1877 Hostel. You can write on the table here and just enjoy and live a lot. Okay? The coffee is already ready. And that's it. Here's the fridge. Um, in the fridge is always root royals and all the food that I buy and that I don't eat. Don't be a root guest like me. Salva Vida, you can buy these here for yourself and bring them. Or Julio will have some available for you to buy for like, I don't know, 20, 25 in Paris. Like nothing, 30, I don't know. When they say them in Paris to me, I just get excited because I know that means cheap. Uh, so that there's plenty of beer flowing here um, and lots of love. So, again, there's lots of love. Oh, you guys just discovered something new with me. Look at this. Peace. There is also peace here. And I feel that everyone here is peaceful and tranquil. There's no drama. Some people back in the stage try to start some drama. 
but I didn't go for it because I'm me and I have to stay in me. I have to stay being me and not worry about them who's worried about me. And just a little note, when, when you get ear that someone is talking about you, uh, that's just trying to mess up your chi a little bit, but it doesn't matter because people are going to talk about you. People are going to talk about you. Okay, let's face it. You talk about people. I've talked about people. Sometimes it's going to happen back. The more of a public figure you become, the more people will talk about you. So, developing some tough skin here, getting over those things, and it's wonderful because, see, peace is here. That's the message for me today. To not be worried about these non peaceful motherfuckers. Okay? Now, peace. So, I'm going to take some. Let me get some peace. For me, and as I like to say, peace be still. So, you can hang out with me for a little while longer. Uh, I'm going to do some yoga. We're going to have some coffee. And we are going to rock our morning out. Uh, there we go. So where do you guys want to sit while we make coffee? I'm going to sit here. I got my peace. I got my peace. You can't mess with me. I got my peace. It's a glory dog in here. See, so you can feel safe. We do have security. Hi. <laughs> no, I don't need anything. <laughs> Just saying hi. I'm making a video. Uh, Telling the people that there's security here. <laughs> <laughs> See, you're going to be safe. It's a glory dog. Yeah. <laughs> Village. I went there yesterday, but we'll talk about that later. I'm not on my detox yet, but I am going to go there. But I'll take you on a tour of the village later. much time to coordinate everything and make it so cute. Um, and for those of us who who like that, who like atmosphere, who like ambience, who like looks, um, the coordinated issues and have the mismatchy, then you, you won't come here.
few sips, get a little caffeine in the system. And now we can go and do some yoga. Ooh, look at that sunshine. See? I'm not so bad. I'm not so bad. Okay, now we yoga. Together. Everyone. Let's yoga. to make it better, okay? Okay. And then, what we're going to do after we yoga is go back to the village. And then, oh look, it's Julio, the owner. Well, there's more than one owner, but he's the owner that's on site a lot. So you're going to get to see how nice he is. Good morning. Is that copy good or did you change it? Because uh, we're, we're going to change it actually. Is it from yesterday? I think so. Uh, I haven't changed it today. I was going to do that right Oh, now. okay. Cool. <laughs> I just went in there like, oh, coffee. <laughs> Yoga, everybody. So let's get that going here. Uh, it's a different copy from the, the one you had at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, but I'll, I'll change it right now. Well, cool. You're up early. Oh, you have to say hi to my video. What? Say hi. That's hi, Julio. How are you? The person who hooked it all up at 1877. He's so cool. I love him. All right. Nice meeting you guys. All right. So. Okay. Let's get this going. All right. So what day are we on? We are on day 26 day 25 yoga with Adrian I took the 30 day yoga challenge with Adrian <coughs> these are my confessions I took it in January I'm still doing it I have five cakes left I know I sometimes will just get up and do some stretching and things like that and, um, yeah, what other excuses can I come up with for why I didn't do it 30 days straight through? I don't know. But I will not let myself start another challenge until I get through this one. So I have five more Yoga with Adrian sessions left. And then I think I'm going to start over at the top and see if I can't get through 30 straight days. We'll see. I'll let you guys know in a few days. Um, but I did 30 days of yoga in, uh, 70 days. I guess that's not too bad. So I mean, I do yoga every like two or days. So that's not terrible. Do yoga. Do have a practice um, of your very own. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started here this morning. I need to find me a spot that is not gonna be in the way, and we can get going. Where's out of the way stuff? I know I want to be thinking. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, we're going to do this.
your butt in me. Put your butt into it. Okay, wow. Plenty of places. So we'll come outside here to this little hangout and little outdoor area that they're hooking up. So it's pretty neat out here. I'm not sitting, so I don't need to think about that spot. Let's come over here a little further near this tree. That's a pretty big tree. I've learned that. La Ceiba is named after a tree, the Ceiba um, African cotton tree. And it's a huge tree. I don't know if this is one of them or not, but I guess I don't know the leaves yet good enough. But, um, yeah. So the Africans gifted those trees to Honduras. Um, Honduras, um, the original um, people of Honduras, the Indians, and they like, came pretty cool with the Africans they were you know tr living and trading and um, enjoying themselves um, they really helped out um, a lot African people the Indians when the slave trade was going on so that's pretty an important part of Honduras also but right now we're at the hostel about to do some yoga so I won't give you a history lesson but I will show you the wall I love the wall so we're outside, and it's time to get started, okay? All right, where are we going to put the computer? We're going to put it somewhere out of the sun. Where we can see. And where would that be? Let's see. Can I see there? of our practice today, day 25. It's a short practice. We're going to move nice and swift, so take breaks when you need to. And we'll begin by warming up the spine with a little cat-cow. 
smile, you got this, you made it to your mat. Really, the hard part is over. So let's just rock out together here and breathe. And today's practice is like a little dance, a little dancing warrior sequence. So we're just going to do a little dance together, and then we'll continue on with the day. You guys are doing awesome. Starting with a little cat cow, connecting to the breath, maybe closing your eyes. know what to do here, checking in with the body and the breath. And then curling the toes under whenever you're ready, we'll walk the palms forward just a hair, find that spiral in the shoulders, and let's lift those toes up towards the sky, bend the knees, pedal it out, and don't decide where it ends here. Moving in a way that feels good for you today, stretching it out, just committing to the practice. Then we'll take a slow walk up towards the front edge. Together we'll land in Uttanasana, extended forward fold. Keep the knees bent as generously as you like. Deep breath in, long breath out. And slowly we're going to roll it up. Enjoy and smooth this time for yourself, nice and slow. Coming up to mountain pose, we stand up nice and tall, smile, and on an inhale, reach it up, fingertips kiss up and overhead. Full body stretch here, take a second to just work out the kinks you might sway a little side to side, you might find a softness in the knees, maybe even a slight back bend, so we do a little organic movement here, and then we'll release the fingertips down, interlace, and same thing here, a little organic movement, opening the chest, opening the shoulders, smile, this is what yoga is all about, finding what feels good. You can do this on your mat. You can do this off your mat. Anytime. Great. Then we'll release the fingertips and inhale, reach them high. Fingertips kiss up overhead one more time. And exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift to your flat back position. And exhale, soften and bend. Plant the palms. Step or hop it back to plank. Take your time. Then lower the knees. Slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Or keep the knees lifted. Slowly lower all the way down to your belly. Inhale, press into the tops of the feet. Lift up, cobra. Exhale, forehead kisses the mat. Inhale, press into your palms. Lift up, cobra. Exhale, release. One more. Inhale, press into everything that is touching the mat. And lift up, cobra. And Exhale, release. Awesome work. Curl the toes under. Press up to all fours or plank that top of the push up position. And then we'll send it back down with facing door. Great work, my friends. Deep breath in. Long breath out. Bend the knees. Look forward. Inhale in. Exhale. Float towards the front edge of your mat. Or walk. Inhale. Lift to flat back. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale. Half play lift. And exhale, release. Press into your feet. Reach it all the way up. Full body experience. Full breath. And exhale, hands together at the heart. And maybe you rain down. So I'm really trying to give you a little freedom to make it your own here. And our last, uh, all the time, but especially here as we come to the end. So that when your 30 days are over, you can kind of feel empowered to do your own thing. Okay. So maybe that shoulder roll, neck rolls, wrist rolls, pausing the video to do something more, you know, find what feels good. Hmm. And when you feel satisfied, let's inhale, reach it up, fingertips kiss up and overhead. On an exhale, diving forward. On an inhale, halfway lift, beautiful long neck, and exhale, release. Cool. Step or hop it back to plank once again. Same thing as before. You can lower the knees or you can keep the knees lifted as you shift your weight forward and practice chaturanga. Or maybe you lower all the way to the belly for cobra again. 
Inhale to cobra or upward facing dog. Lift the backs of the legs. Open your chest. Press them all ten knuckles. And then exhale, everyone, downward facing dog. In down dog, we're going to drop the left heel and slide the right leg up. You can take a second here to open up through that hip. Maybe draw a couple circles, whatever feels good. And then we'll send that right foot all the way up and into our lunge. Go ahead and pivot on the back foot. And we're going to rise up into warrior one. Strong legs. I inhale, reach the fingertips up, smile. Then exhale, dial your heart towards the left side of your mat. Come into warrior two. You might even widen your stance here as you grow your practice. Breathe deep, engage. Then we're going to inhale, keep the front knee bent as you reach forward, up and back, peace forward. Exhale, back to warrior two. Beautiful. Now straighten that front leg, tilt, hip point, excuse me, sit bones back, and we're going to tilt forward, trigonophilus. And exhale, bend that front knee back to warrior two. Cool. Drop the left fingertips down to come up. Warrior dance here as we inhale. High lunge. Open your heart. And exhale, open the chest and shoulders as you release down. Take a rest here. Knees on the ground. Sit bones back. Or we move through a vinyasa. If you're in child's pose, make your way back to downward facing dog, and we're going to do the same little warrior dance on the other side. So drop the right heel, inhale, lift the left leg high. Take a second here to work out the kinks, stretch, just explore your body. Then slowly we'll step the left foot up into our lunge, pivot on that right foot, press into the outer edge of that back foot, bend your front knee, and we rise up, warrior one. Full breath here, relax your shoulders, enjoy. And then on an exhale, let's open out warrior two, full body experience, nice and strong. Then inhale, sink deep into that front knee, tailbone lengthens down, reach forward, up and back. Peaceful warrior, you got this. Breathing deep, exhale, back to warrior two. Straighten the front leg, send the sit bones back, tilt, keep length in the side body, come into your triangle, trikonasana. Only a breath cycle here in and out. Then take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, bend that front knee back to warrior two. Strong legs, extending energy out through the fingertips. Now we'll drop the right fingertips down to come up. We pivot on the back foot and we inhale, arms up high. Breathe in deep here. And then exhale, open the chest and shoulders as you release back down to the earth. Awesome, beautiful warrior dance, my friends. Plant the palms, step it back, come to your knees, take it to child's pose or vinyasa, and then together we'll be. Swim the fingertips back, forehead comes to the mat, and we rest. Beautiful, my friends. Find your breath, breathe. Tuck your chin into your chest, slowly roll up. Palms come to the tops of the thighs, and we lift the heart. Deep breath in, and exhale out through the mouth. One more just like that. Inhale in through the nostrils, and exhale out. Don't be shy of the mouth. Awesome. It feels awesome. Great. Widen the knees. <clears throat> Turn the fingertips in towards uh, your center, and we're just going to stretch the arms here a little bit. Resting into all ten knuckles. You can practice a lion's breath here if you're feeling the pranayama today. Inhaling into the nostrils and same thing, exhaling out through the mouth. This time drawing the tongue down and the gaze up. Cool. We'll slowly release. Walk the knees back in. And so day 25. So now we're going to begin to either transition straight to shavasana or I'd love for you to explore a little freestyle. So depending on the amount of energy you have today, you might come up onto uh, your toes, plant your palms, and work on bakasana. Maybe you are working on a crow practice, lifting one toe and then the other. Maybe you pause and you're like, I'd love to learn that, and you hop on over to the Foundations of Crow Pose video for a little fun. 
Same thing with uh, an, an inversion. Maybe you want to work on a headstand today or a shoulder stand. So moving over to the foundations of yoga or if you're already um, practicing those in your, in your practice, you might begin to just work on a little bit of prep and then play with that here. If you were enjoying the hip, uh, happy hip openers of yesterday, of yesteryear, then you might shift forward and come into a one-legged pigeon, mindfully of course, breathing, using the sound of your breath to stay focused in on the sensations, and then of course just make sure you repeat on the other side. So um, I'd love to just offer this up to you right now, a little play time at the end of your practice. Uh, again, I think this is um, going to inspire you to continue to do this um, after our 30 days, so we want to start that now on day 25. Uh, if you're tired, if time is short, then you might just head straight to Shavasana like me and um, begin to get settled in for a little relaxation, maybe coming into a reclined twist or whatever feels good, letting the weight of the body begin to relax and settle and really just focusing on the breath, maybe coming into even a meditation pose over the Shavasana is always a um, good idea to nice little uh, Proud of you guys. I'm really honored to be here, day 25 with you, and I will see you tomorrow. Stick with it, day 26. Namaste. Hey, enjoy your playtime or your relaxation.